Hey, hey, another video from me, uh, this time hopefully capturing most of the baking and decorating process. First, you want to get the baking pans ready. Um, I'm using baking sheets and a little bit of um, oil spray to get the sheets uh, in place and ready to go. quick tip I find for making uh, fluffier cakes, mix all your wet ingredients together um, and then mix all your dry ingredients together once they're separately mixed, combine them and do not overbeat. If you can, it's great to use the cake pan wraps, again you soak them and then once they're completely wet you wrap them around the pan and it will allow for a nice um, rise without a huge dome. Once the cakes are done baking, um, the cooling process is very important. I usually try to let them cool overnight. Although in this case, I uh, bake them in the morning um, and did the filling in the afternoon. Another trick I use uh, when I make uh, whipped cream filling cakes is to actually mix some vanilla uh, pudding into the mix. It will help the texture of the whipped cream stay solid longer, it gives it that flavor of um, vanilla and then you of course add a little bit of sugar. Another little tidbit, um, the bottom layer of the cake before you put it on the uh, board, add a little bit of uh, cream or frosting so that it actually sticks in place. Depending on what type of uh, filling you have for your cake, it's always a good idea to have a little uh, border of frosting to keep everything in place. Uh, here I'm doing three layers with uh, the first two layers covered in uh, cream filling with uh, slices of banana. And the next layer will have cream filling with uh, crushed walnuts. As much as I wanted to make sure that each layer is perfect, um, it's not a big deal if you start to see the layers not be absolutely straight or have little cracks in them. Um, the great thing is frosting will actually almost work like an eraser and uh, erase all the imperfections um, once you cover it before you put your fondant on, so don't worry too much about that. Crumb coat first, there's just, just a thin layer of uh, frosting, or you can do what I'm doing, which is just two in one, a thicker layer that I'm putting over. Um, the reason I'm doing this and I'm not too worried about uh, crumbs showing through is because I will be covering it in fondant um, and it's not a big deal. For this cake, I'm using store bought fondant and icing sugar um, as my sticky preventer powder <laughs> uh, which usually works well. I actually use uh, icing sugar even when I make my own fondant. The trick here is to go uh, for larger because if you have too much fondant covering your cake you'll be fine. But if you're putting the fondant over the cake and you realize uh, it's not enough, you're in trouble. Before you put the fondant on, you can use a paper towel to just smooth out the icing a little bit more without worrying about it uh, sticking to your smoothing tool. The one key 
about putting fondant over your cake is do not rush. Be patient. Uh, work the fondant onto the cake rather than pulling at it and it will be just fine. Another great trick to use on uh, especially kids cakes but you can use it for anything. Um, any shapes uh, that you're trying to put on the cake you can use Rice Krispie squares. Of course when I have my kitchen I would uh, make them myself um, and I can have more control over the consistency. Here we have store bought, uh, which works just uh, as well for the purposes of what I'm doing, which is trying to make a submarine. that you do in the making before you put fondant on it, um, just like with the cake. I use gel colors for coloring my fondant um, so that the consistency doesn't change too much. Um, even with that dough, even with the gel colors, uh, it does start to get very sticky, so the icing sugar um, helps. and work the fondant onto your um, cake uh, and do not brush, do not pull so that it does not rip and it sits very nicely on the object. to just uh, smooth out some of the lines and uh, make sure that I don't have any um, large uh, defects visible. <laughs> um, then you move into the detailed work of uh, all the little bits and pieces that start to bring into life. Brush and I brush uh, the areas where I want the fondant to stick with uh, just a little bit of a wet brush and uh, do. around the submarine just to give it a bit of a um, you know, nicer sort of blend into uh, the bottom. Now you don't need to worry about all the icing sugar um, and uh, white powder basically that's on your cake. What you do at the end is uh, again take your wet brush and brush all over uh, to get rid of the icing. It also gives it a nice uh, glow. And here it is, the final product. Uh, by no means the most exciting cake, but uh, that's what the birthday boy wanted. Um, I have added a few photos from some of the cakes I've done in the past that are a little bit more exciting and fun. When it comes to cakes, it's not the baking part that I enjoy uh, too much. It's really just the decorating part that um, I do enjoy a lot. And so the bigger the challenge, the more fun it is for me to uh, come up with the creation. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!